Okay, in the previous video, we showed how to remove the main ink filter. We hooked up a standard quarter inch line and then we drained it into a waste container, getting the ink out of our ink tank. So now what I've done is I've just taken the other line, or rather the other end of the line that was in the waste container, and now I have it going right back in to the ink tank. And this is how we're going to begin our flush. So we're going to take some uh, solvent, whatever the MEK or uh, makeup equivalent is to your ink. As you can see, we're filling up our ink tank down here. You only need to use about a half a quart or so for uh, your first go around. And then the same rules are going to apply. We're just going to run the pump in manual mode so that we can run it through here and start flushing out our system. about 15 RPS's, but we can already see some fluid moving through here. There are some manual control functions up front for turning on certain solenoids. Um, basically what we would recommend is you uh, uh, turn on the vis viscometer solenoid, the uh, printhead solenoid, and the lead solenoid. And allow fluids to move to the head and back to the viscometer and back to the ink tank. All right, so now that I'm primed, I'm gonna go ahead and bump up my pressure. I can bring it up as high as 40 PSI. So now you can hear the motor kind of moving along there. Some fluid movement inside our ink tank. running at about 40 psi right now. It's around uh, 29 revolutions per second. A little bit higher than it would normally run with ink in it, but because the medium or the, the makeup is so thin, that's the reason for that. Okay, so I'm gonna open up a couple of the other solenoids that I mentioned, and um, we'll do the discometer first. So the discometer is constantly uh, receiving ink through this purple line here, and it's bypassing and coming, coming through this brown line to go back to the ink tank. Um, when the uh, viscometer begins to read or take a measurement, it opens up a solenoid back here, and it fills up the viscometer, and then fluid comes out of the top of this viscometer, and again, returning it to the ink tank. So there's one, one fluid path to the viscometer, and there's two fluid paths coming back from the viscometer depending on which state the viscometer solenoid is in. Turn that off. And now I've got the printhead solenoid on. Sending ink to the head. 